Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak, you're watching Ramadan Reminders. I'm Yusuf Estes, and I'm excited to talk to you today about the continuing of the Ramadan. It's ongoing now. We're into it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. What do we do now? I have to tell you something that happened to me. When I first came into Islam, my first fasting experience, you know, I was a little bit afraid, you know, because... I understood to get into Islam, I have to believe there's only one God. And of course, that's the primary thing that we're always talking about as Muslims. There's only one God. Allah is one. He's not two, not three, not four. Allah is one. All right? We got past that. You worship Him on His terms. You do what He wants you to do. Okay. You believe in the Bible as it came in the original condition. You believe in the Old Testament, the New Testament. You believe in the Psalms. And now you believe in the Quran as well because the Quran is coming as the last and final testament. Okay, no problem for that. And now once the belief things are in place, then comes the actions. The first action I had to do, I had to say, Shadu illah ilah illallah, Shadu Muhammad Rasulullah. I bear witness in open testimony there's none worthy to be worshipped except the Almighty God alone. And I bear witness in open testimony Muhammad is his last and final messenger. Okay, good for that. Now establish the Salah. Ikam Salah. And how do I do that? Well, I stand and I bow and I prostrate and I sit and uh, say some things in Arabic. And salam alaikum, salam alaikum. Okay, I got that down. Now, the next thing after that is paying zakah. Zakah, you know, we're going to be talking about that in some of the upcoming reminders. But briefly, it is to give a certain tiny percentage of the wealth that a person has in a year to the poor people. It's not something like you give 10% to the church, something like that. No, it's just directly to the poor, a small teeny percentage, like 2.5% of your wealth to the poor. Okay, good for that. But what's next? Well, the next one is fasting. Fasting called Siyam. This is something that Muslims have to do every year for a whole month in the lunar calendar called Ramadan. Now, I have trouble with this. You may too. Ban. You know what is Ban? It's from Ba, the letter Ba. And this letter is famous for the Arabic because no other alphabet, no other language has Ba. Only the Lagatu Arabiya. So you say, Rama Bon. Try it with me. Ready? Rama Bon. Rama Bon. You kind of fill up your mouth with your tongue, pushing up against the teeth. Like, Wala Bolin. Rama Bon. Got that? I know I didn't do very good with it either. Don't worry about it. We, even if you said Ramadan, we'll know who you're talking about. It's no problem. We know. Alhamdulillah. Now, after I got into Islam, okay, I said the Shahada, I established my Salah, I learned about the Zakah, I didn't, wasn't qualified because I didn't have anything to pay any Zakah on anyway, so Alhamdulillah for that. But now what? Now it was creeping up, the time for the month of Ramadan. What will I do? And we see, as a Christian, I used to fast sometimes. One time I fasted three uh, consecutive days. No food at all. No food at all. Zero. I started on one day. I think I started like on a Friday morning and I was still not eating or drinking by Monday night. This means there was no food at all. Well, take it back. There was some drink. I did have some water because I figured, well, you know, you can't live without water. So I had a little jug of water and every few hours I would drink water. But this went all day Friday, all night Friday night, all day Saturday, all night Saturday night, all day Sunday, all night uh, Sunday night, and then all day Monday. No food. Let me tell you something. You start getting weird thinking. You start like, hallucinating almost. No food. You start, uh, uh, uh. Your mind starts getting you low, and you start getting kind of weak. And I was thinking, whew. And these people are going to do it with no food or drink for 30 days. Whoa, that's going to be tough. But I wanted to be a Muslim. You know how much? I said, well, even if it kills me, I'm going to try it. 
I did ask my friend I, before we got started. I said, now, uh, do, can I ask you a question? He said, go ahead. I said, you were raised as a Muslim in Egypt. He said, that's right. So you were raised fasting that whole month. He said, yeah, it's not hard. I said, I just can't imagine fasting that whole month. What happens? I mean, you know, if 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 I can't fast the whole month, uh, and I, and if I have to eat, what will happen? Will I not be a Muslim anymore? He said, No, no, no. It's your first time. If you have any difficulty with it, then it'll be okay. I said, okay. I, I said, but if if I do eat something during the month. You're not going to, like, kill me or something. He started laughing. He said, no. I said, well, I heard if anybody went out of the Islam, you know, that they have to kill him. He said, no, 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 no. He said, that's that's totally incorrect. That's not the way it is. And nobody ever got killed just because they went out of Islam. This is a long story. It has nothing to do with this. But if you need to eat, if something happened, you get sick, you're welcome. You can do so. And that's the second verse that um, I like to read. Because the second day, we talk about it. Allah says in verse 184, after telling us that he's ordered for us to do the fasting and who it is that the believers do it, he says, fasting a limited number of days, so whoever among you is ill or on a journey, then you can make up those days at another time. And for those who are able to fast, then they can have a substitution, if you're not able to fast, that is, by feeding poor people for every day. So if you're not able to fast, you can just feed somebody else that's poor. And whoever volunteers to do good is better for them. But fasting is best for you if you only knew. So if you're not able to fast, you can feed somebody who is poor, and that'll be just as good as if you fasted, except it would be better for you. Okay, it'd be better for you if you could do the fasting. I said, well, where would it be, you know, in theory, if you live in a community and uh, everybody's a Muslim, how would you have any poor people to feed? He said, what do you mean? I said, well, how can I feed anybody if everybody's fasting? He said, wait a minute. Did you think we fast the whole month with no break? I said, well, yeah. He said, only the daylight hours. Oh. Oh. Oh, you mean I can break the fast when the sun goes down? He said, absolutely. Will I be able to drink water? He said, you can drink water. You can have juice, tea, coffee, anything that's halal, you can drink it. I said, oh, what about food? He said, and all the food you want. I said, so it's only during the daylight hours. Ah, well, that's great. I didn't know that. I thought I have to go the whole 30 days. So, and so here I am on my very first day of fasting, you know, and I was thinking, I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can make it. You know, about Lohar time, you know, noon, I was thinking, oh, I don't know, can I make it? And then it came time for Asr. I don't know, can I make it? And then I got close to Maghrib and I was thinking, any minute now, any minute, any minute. And then I started reading the Quran and thinking about other things and I heard them making the dawn. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I heard that in the background, you know, I was thinking, huh? Oh, is it time to break the fast? <laughs> Look how Allah makes it easy for you. That's going to be in our, well, some of our next reminders. Don't forget the website now, Ramadan Reminders, RamadanReminders.com. And until next time, may Allah accept from you your fasting, your prayers, your salah, and your zakah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan.